In this video, we'll look at what's new in the latest version of Subtitle Edit, Subtitle Edit 3.6.11. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So here we are. Uh, this is the releases page and I'll leave a link below. I've already downloaded it, uh, but I just wanted to show you that you've got a couple of packages here that you can download the setup. It may show you that uh, this file is not recognized or whatnot, but keep it anyways. Uh, it's a good file. So uh, I've already downloaded and installed. It's here. But I've got a couple of things I need to do. Uh, first of all, let's look at help. Check for updates. Checking. You're using the latest version of Subtitle Edit. Subtitle Edit 3.6.11 as of 30th January 2023. So what's new? Some few uh, subtitle files have been added. And then we have some more Whisper post-processing. Uh, this is available. Uh, hopefully it does a better job and it's a little bit faster and then there's a new line merge option for google cloud vision optical character recognition or ocr and then we have a new subtitle new subtitle format and then add assa a style replace and then we have uh, the audio to text for selected lines shortcuts uh, you can create that and then we've got some new VUSK models, uh, that is the VUSK option to convert audio to text, uh, the Korean, Uzbek, and large Hindi models. So you can do that. And then there are some few improved options here. So you can go through these and then you can see like, uh, for example, here we've got updates uh, to Tesseract uh, for, uh, to 5.3 and then Whisper CPP to the one for version uh, the 28th of January, 2023. And then uh, the YouTube uh, download uh, is also available. So that's good. Uh, so whenever I do a clean install, that means I did not have subtitle edit installed. Always go to options, settings, and then go to the video player and then download MPVlib. So this is important uh, because uh, this helps you see your subtitles in the video when you play that particular video. So this is really, really important. And this is for anybody who is doing a clean, fresh install. Uh, I'd recommend you always do that. Don't use the direct show or VLC media player because the subtitles will always be below the video and will not give you uh, maybe a clear picture of what you want. So let's just give it a couple of seconds. And it's going to be done uh, in just a second. And then we can proceed uh, to the next options. That are available for us okay click ok and this defaults now to this and click ok then we go to video a couple of things to download and install let's click on that download ffmpeg this is just basically standard of any fresh clean install that you make in subtitle edit that means you've deleted everything uh, that you had in uh, subtitle edit uh, that you've uh, it's your first time installing or you just removed everything. So get FFmpeg and then you download the different options. That is whether it's Whisper, whether it's VUSK. And I'll just do a quick one here with Whisper uh, so that at least uh, we can all be at par. That's okay. It's done. Okay. And then we download whisper.cpp. It's going to be done in a second. That's done. And then you can download the model. Let's say we actually do the base, this one, download this. And this might take a little bit of time because of my internet connection, but let's give it a couple of seconds and it's going to be done. So it's almost done and uh, it's at about 90 something percent. It does take some time depending on your internet connection, uh, but this is the same process I follow all along. So there we go, it's done. Once the base model is done downloading, it's available for use. You can actually cancel this and then we can actually just download the, the libvosc, uh, just this, nothing else. Uh, we are not going to download the model. Uh, let's just download this particular uh, selection uh, for VUSK. Uh, and then just to show you what you need to do, depending on whether you'd like to use Whisper for automatic audio uh, to text transcription, uh, VUSK was downloaded and is ready for use. Click OK. And then you can, if you have the models available, you can choose or you can click on this to download uh, the models. Uh, we have a bunch of them right here, but I'll leave this for another uh, section when I'm not uh, doing this particular tutorial. 
So let's try out and see if we have any new improvement to Whisper. Click on open, then click on a video or an audio file by changing the selections here. Click on open and click on this to add a waveform. And then you can go to video, audio to text via Whisper. And then from this section, we want to use uh, English and the base model because that, that is what we have. You can download all the other models, including the large models uh, right here. Uh, but we're going to go for the base, let the auto adjust timings uh, checkbox be on, and also the post processing. Now, there are two types of Whisper in subtitle edit. We are currently using Whisper CPP. If you right click, you can go to Whisper Open AI, and this is in, uh, in Python. This takes a, a little bit longer, and you can see it's Open AI. Then we can change this to CPP. So let's click on Generate. Uh, we're going to see how much time it's going to take for this three minute and three second file, saying 44 seconds. But I think it's going to come down 27 seconds, and then something like 24. Uh, but you also see uh, all uh, the time that is uh, running right here. So we'll be able to guesstimate how long it takes for maybe whatever file that you have. So here we go, seven seconds. And then there we go, a few seconds is done. It's taken about 34 seconds for a three minute file. That's awesome, uh, that's fast. And if you can actually play a section here. With the recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now easier than before download YouTube transfer. It's done a good job, but the synchronization, as we've mentioned, is a little bit off, and hopefully uh, the creator can try and use something called Whisper X. Uh, it's doing a better job in terms of uh, synchronizing the text to the audio. Uh, hopefully we can see that in future, uh, but uh, as far as we are concerned, that's the latest version of uh, subtitle edit and if you'd like to use plugins go to file file just go down plugins and then you can get plugins for whatever uh, you want uh, for the plugins available maybe if you wanted the ASSA fade you can download that uh, and you see the other uh, progress click OK and then once you click on install plugins you see them here so that's just a quick uh, rundown on what's latest in subtitle edit uh, the VSK models for Uzbek, Hindi, ADC, and then we've got more Whisper uh, post-processing and then some few subtitle formats. So I hope this video is of value to you. If you're new to subtitle edit, uh, just a quick one. You can check out other tutorials on the channel and I hope that they do help you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.